Hey, what's up, astronauts? Have you ever thought to yourself, hmm, I wonder how Elenium makes his drops? Well, if that's the case, today is your lucky day, baby, because I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to Elenium. For an example, this is the recreation of his track, Take You Down, and we're gonna be recreating this today. Hey, what's up astronauts? Shane here from Rocket Powered Sound. Before we get started in today's video, let me give a quick shout out to the serum pack that we're dropping next month. We spent the past two months developing this amazing virtual riot style pack. We recreated a bunch of basses, leads, etc., that you'd find in all of his newer modern sounds. So if you wanna go ahead and get early access to that, click the link at the top of the description down below. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now, Elenium is a king of making his drop sound full. If you take a listen to the original track, it's straight up just sawtooth waveform. So pretty basic stuff, but it makes everything sound super thick and super full. And that's exactly what we want to be doing, just like Virtual Ride does. So I'm going to be showing you how you guys can do that in your own music today, because it's super simple. We only have like eight layers right here, something like that. So keep in mind, this is going to be extremely helpful to your music. And keep in mind, also, we do have a preset download for all of these individual layers in the description down below. So you don't have to actually copy each preset because that's not what we're doing this isn't about copying serum patches this is more like showing you exactly how to make full drops and kind of set things up kind of how Elenium does so anyways guys without further ado let's go ahead and play the quick little demo so you guys get an idea once more of what we're gonna be doing All right, guys, so just taking a quick little look, we have all these different layers. We have chords, chords minus one, lead, sub, dirty saw, effects, vocal, lead. And then these two are kind of fillers. There's not actually anything there. Um, these are more or less background elements that you need to put into your song, but we'll go over that later. Anyways, let's start off with the fundamentals, and that are the chords. It's not an Elenium track if we're not rocking some beautiful chords. So taking a look into the MIDI here, all we have is just three note chords. You know, it's nothing too crazy. I'm not sure if these are the correct chords, but they sound right. And these are just three notes, three notes, three notes. But what makes them really sound full is the key called layers. And layering is the most important part when we're dealing with melodic sounds. And we really want them to sound thick and full. So pulling up in Serum, uh, you see we're using all three oscillators. That is the most important key here, guys. We have the sub turn on oscillator A and oscillator B as well, all running sawtooth waveforms. So sawtooths are extremely powerful, especially when we're working with chords, and that is a key. If we listen to the original sound, it's just sawtooth waveforms. As you can see, that's all we're working with right here. And the sub is pitched down negative one. And the thing about the sub is we can't use any detuning or multiple voices like we can with a unison on here and on here. Uh, so this is kind of going to be our foundation for the sound, right? So that's going to be our one mono voice because we don't want to have too much detuning and uh, different different sounds in our stereo width. So we want to have a foundation and that's what we're using the sub for. Okay, so that is one note that we can rely on as the bass ground. Okay, and then we have oscillator A turned on here, which is just one note higher than the sub okay we have the sub pitched down one octave and this is not pitched at all so what we're doing here is we have the voicing set to five unison okay so the reason why we have five as opposed to like four or six we always want to stick with an odd number the reason for that is let's go ahead and click detune so we can get an idea of what the landscape for these five voices are we have four and then there's one yellow sticking up in the middle. As you can see, that one is kind of isolated by itself. That particular voice is a mono voice. When, we, when we're working with an even number like six, we don't have just one mono voice, okay? We want one that is kind of like the foundation for each of our oscillators. So it's not like we just have a jumble of detuning. We just have one that is mono and then we have stereo width going on for the rest. So that is extremely key. And we just have a little bit of detuning same thing for oscillator b we're just using three voices instead of five and a little bit more detuning because we already have negative one and negative one so we don't need as much background for this but it's just there to add in more thickness remember like i said layers 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 that's why we're throwing on multiple pitch differentials so negative one zero and this is negative one too but it's detuned instead of this one mono voice so if that makes sense we now go into the effects section here and this is when things start to get a little bit more fun. 
the effects are just for expanding okay all we have here is we turn on the chorus and the amazing part about the chorus is it kind of adds in like backup vocals quote unquote vocals you know it's like the equivalent of backup vocals but backups for our chords so it makes them sound even more thick all right, so what I like to do when I do work with the chorus is I turn up the mix all the way so I could hear exactly how it's affecting the sound and make sure that your low pass filter is turned up all the way or you put it on high pass and turn it down um, because we want to hear the full effect. Okay, so that's it with all the way up and we just kind of turn it down and when I work with it all the way up, then I just kind of mess with the settings and see what's best. Same thing for the hyper guys, turn up the mix all the way and that's how I found this ratio. So I use the rate of 35 and a little bit of detuning and then I just turned it down okay because I wanted to hear exactly how it's affecting the sound and when I have that kind of figured out then I just turned on the mix so it's not overpowering and then of course dimension nothing too crazy um, and reverb so that is kind of the the main elements for making the chords sound thick just like the chords layer itself but there's actually another part now what we do is we duplicate that layer and we take the same notes, except we just pitch them down one octave. So that's why it says negative one. All I did was I took each of these MIDI notes and I just pitched them down one octave. So I just moved them from up here all the way down to here. So that's all I did. And we duplicated this layer. And all we did into Serum is we just turned down the high end and turned off reverb or turned down the reverb. So we put on an EQ and did that because this is another thing. We're just adding in a little bit more backups because we want them to sound vocal. So we have two layers of the chords. One is just pitched down and we also turned down the volume down negative six from when it was at negative 0.4 decibels. Okay, so nothing too crazy so far, just some basic chord structure. And now here's when things start to get more important. This is when we're really starting to layer in the chords because this is how Elenium does it, man. We go ahead and we go into the leads, okay? And we just take one top note. The lead, okay, we don't want to have the exact same notes as the chords or else it starts to sound a little bit bland and there's just not much that separates the lead from the chords itself. So what we have here is we have which is a little bit different than the original chords. So this is what the lead sounds like on its own. Okay, and if we go into Serum, all this is, again, sawtooth waveforms. Uh, we're just using two oscillator setup, both sawtooths, and then three unison. So a little bit of detuning on these, just to kind of get that detuned saw. And then when we go in the effects, we just have a little bit of distortion to crispen it up. And we put on a multi-band compressor just to even out the frequencies. And you really, guys, you don't need to get complicated with the leads. Elenium did it in the original sound, so why should you have to do that? Just keep it simple. We're just using sawtooth waveforms and a little bit of effects to kind of bring it out. Okay, like these aren't mandatory. We can turn off these effects and still get the similar sound. See, it sounds almost exactly the same, but the only difference here is we're just kind of enhancing it. That's all we're doing with the effects here, especially in this kind of music is enhancing. So now what we have is the sub layer because now we have the chords and a little bit of high, but these chords are not anything without the bass layers. Okay, that's what the sub sounds like. It's nothing too crazy. This is just a really easy sub. We went ahead and pulled up in Serum. Um, and guys, keep in mind, this is a very powerful structure, very powerful format that you can use in all your music now. Just chords, chords minus one, leads, sub, dirty saw, and we'll get into the rest layer later. So into the sub, we are using two sine waveforms and then one triangle. Now, most people just use like one sub, what's, <laughs> oh my, blah, blah, blah. One pe most people use just one sine waveform and kind of call it a sub bass, but it's a little bit more than that. All we're doing is we add in a little bit more waveforms to just kind of make it sound more powerful. See how much more better that sounds. And the triangle waveform, triangles aren't necessarily the best for subs, but instead of what they do is it adds in a nice little extra tone that kind of just makes it sound more tonal and more harmonic and it sounds great. And that's it. We put on a little bit of tube distortion just to you know, crispen it up a little bit and EQ it. Just make sure we cut out all that high end. 
and we call it a day. That is it for the sub bass and it sounds beautiful. That is an easy sub bass that you guys can make that sounds really good. Now guys, the sub is not complete without a dirty saw. And that's what the dirty saw sounds like. But when we combine it with the sub, you hear that thick, beautiful bass sound. So that is exactly what we want because it not only thickens up like the sound of the sub, but you know, it just makes that bass end of the drop really, really start to pop and sound fluid. So if you're wondering what the dirty saw is, guys, this is the easiest sound. I'm really showing you that you don't have to have crazy sound design to make incredible drops, just like Elenium. So what we're having here is just a simple sawtooth waveform, noise, which we're using AC hum right here. And then we turn up the level to 23. We put on some distortion multi-band compressor and then we just turn down the high end a little bit that's all we're doing see without the distortion though you can start to hear it's just a sawtooth waveform with a little bit of noise but when we turn on the distortion it starts to morph the two together and really starts to create some excellent orgasmic results which is what we're going for right so that is really it for kind of like the layers finally we just add in a little bit of effects and all this is is white noise See, if we pull up in Serum, we're just using Alpha Noise, which is Alpha as fuck. That's why we put it in there. And then we put in, <laughs> we've turned on our compressor and we put on multiband just to like even out the noise frequencies. It's not that crazy. And then we just EQ it a little bit. So the noise is really essential too, just to add in a little bit filler into the sound. We want to make it sound full, right? So we add in some filler. Now guys, Speaking of filler, we need background elements and I didn't put them in for this tutorial sake because we're just focusing on serum. But guys, the background elements really make the original song pop out and make the drop sound really good. So for example, he has background effects that are more than just white noise, but like crashes, impact risers and stuff like that. So make sure you stick those in. And then we also have vocal chops. Now, obviously I don't have access to Elenium's original track, so I wasn't gonna go ahead and vocal chop his sounds or whatever because that's just stupid you guys can do that with your own music um but when it comes to his lead his lead is actually vocal it's an actual vocal sample and there's not much we can do to get that sample so instead i tried to recreate the sample and this is what it ended up coming like. So I know his is a vocal, but mine sounds more like a possessed bird. It's completely okay. <laughs> let's, let's just open it up in case you guys are curious because it still sounds pretty good, even though it's like a bird getting like a demonic possession, which is completely okay as long as it sounds good in the drop. Basically, all we're doing here is we loaded up a vocal waveform, which is just E underscore yeah, that comes with serum. And we just turn up the sync to kind of uh, make the format formant a little bit higher okay kind of like a the higher pitch vocal that he has in the original track and then we just put on a vocal filter just like the phaser 48 positive and we just kind of tuned it to a spot that kind of sound vocal then you know as things just start to get a little bit more crazy when we put on the distortion and we just filtered it so that way the high end of the low end aren't necessarily being affected the same way and then you know just some basic effects here guys but ba the overall structure of the sound is just chords lead sub dirty saw effects vocal lead and that's what i want you to take away from this tutorial guys use this structure and every single sound is going to sound amazing for you now guys i hope you took something away from this how to elenium tutorial because this is a very highly repeatable format that a lot of producers are using that are really killing the game and i highly encourage you guys to go ahead and kill the game as well by just using this format now if you like this video make sure you click that like button and if you're new here uh what are you doing click that subscribe button you're missing out on weekly serum tutorials if you're not already subscribed so click that subscribe button and without further ado i'll catch you astronauts in the next serum tutorial Thank you.